a really quick trick on cutting off uh, broken uh, shafts um, to show you another really neat trick. So I'm going to start off with first, these ends here are usually a bit of a pain to cut off. So uh, if you have the really good hardened steel, this is real hard to cut off. So I just want to show you a quick trick. I'm not going to do the whole thing because sometimes it does take a while. Sometimes it happens fast. It all depends on how good the quality of metal is. Um, you'll see here I have a small saw, metal saw, and a strap. I have a drill. Now, if you, if you, uh, in my case here, I have my drill held into a vise, so that way it keeps it nice and steady. And you're probably asking why. Well, because what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take these straps here to hold down my drill button. I've inserted the shaft like a drill bit into the drill. And then all I simply do is hold this here and let the drill do all the moving while I just simply slide this back and forth to make sure that I get fresh teeth uh, to cut the metal off and that's how I'll trim the end off. Um, I'll show you really quick. Give me a moment. Okay, as you can see, you got the strap holding the drill back there. And I simply take the blade, put it on here, and I just go back and forth to make sure, make sure that I keep getting new teeth to help cut the blade. And this is just basically a quick way to cut off the end here, and then I'll show you why in one second. And as you can see, the teeth are starting to wear out. But as you can see, there's the cut. So let's zoom in a little bit. See, there it is. Let's see if we can finish cutting it off. Okay, this is uh, how you can use the little tool that we created right here that goes onto your drill bit. Simply, in my case here, attaching it here and then making it work. Now, let's just say I was trying to figure out why the back is not running right, it's not running smooth. Now, in this case, it's going to be very extreme. Because I removed the droop screws, this is going to rub. So, I'm telling you that's the problem now. But, just to show you, if I wanted to test it, you'll see that one side is worse than the other. See, nothing should stop that fast. As soon as you do it, it should roll freely. So, let's just say I was checking. I can simply turn and say, okay, wait, that one's still turning. That one's not. So, now I know that I have a big problem here and a smaller problem here. Now, like I said, I know fortunately what the problem is. On this side, it's rubbing on this corner. And over here, it's rubbing here. So, I know exactly what the problem is. But here I made it a little tighter just to make... Uh, the example. So that's how you can use this to test your drive line. You can use it to test your center differentials, uh, especially if you have this bone type or just use the type that whatever your car has. Um, the final thing I want to mention, because a few people have seen me use this before and are asking, well, what's that funky little mount and how did I do that so I can test the differentials? All it is is a 2x4 that I hold the back of the car in with a plate that simply puts pressure onto the back here. I'll slide it out so you can see. Okay, you see there, see that little little plate in the back there? And it just simply gets pinched underneath there. So it's a very simple thing to do. I use this piece of wood for a lot of different concoctions. So anyway, with this simple simple little tool that just all it does go connect to a drill. Let me show you here. All this connect to a drill. You can test out so much of your drive line. So I just wanted to share this with you and a couple of those other tricks. So I hope this helps out. Take it easy and have a good one.